Hello everybody and welcome back to Brit's Books. Today I plan to do my August wrap-up video and my September TBR. I was going to do them separately because I thought it would be a long video and then I was looking at my trusty little list of books I've read in August and I realized that I have almost no copies of my books. So I'm just going to show you the ones I have and then get into my September TBR. So, the first one I read this month was Haunted by Chuck Palahniuk. Um, that one was about a bunch of authors who went on this getaway where they were going to create their masterpieces, and then it turned into, like, a Saw movie in a book almost. Like, they were chopping off fingernails and, like, killing each other, and it was really weird. The second one I read was Diary by Chuck Palahniuk. I don't even really remember what that one was about. So, moving along. Um, the third one was Rant by Chuck Palahniuk. That was the one I did a review on. And it was about the main character, Buster Casey, I believe his actual name was, but his nickname was Rant. And he got rabies, and he, like... I don't really want to spoil anything, but it was really good. So, um, The fourth one was A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. Burgess? Burgess? That's embarrassing. Um, that was really, it was hard to get into, but really good once I got into it because he, the author uses, like, old-fashioned words or words from different languages or words that he just made up for himself in place of English words. So you have to figure out what he's talking about and it's in, based in, what year is it based in? not current time so it's a different time period it's a different language but it was really good once I got into it okay so the fifth one I have a copy of um, Insurgent by Veronica Roth it is the second book in the Divergent trilogy which most of you probably know um, didn't like it as much as the first one I don't know it was better than I was expecting but I didn't like it as much as the first one Okay, so the sixth one was Pygmy by Chuck Palahniuk, and it's about this exchange student, and it's written how he would speak English, and it was, that one was hard to get into too. The guy who lent it to me said it was really good, and it was one of his favorite books. So I was like, oh man, it's going to be awesome, I'm so excited, and I was just like, I, I just can't get into it, and I felt kind of bad, but haters going to hate, I guess. Um, the seventh book I read this month was this beast over here, Stephen King, 1122-63. Super good. I'd read it again. I, I would be willing to spend the time to read this again, and I'm not one to reread books. I've only reread, like, The Notebook and A Walk to Remember, because I was like, oh, I'm going to the beach. Might as well bring them. So, that was my seventh one of the month. I was... I looked through my list and I was like, I've read all of these this month. Like, I read this one, which is a beast. I read this one. It's small type, or big type, whatever words. Um, yeah, but it's still bigger. And I read, like, five other books. So I was just like, how did I do this? But anyway, because I was like, oh, I don't think I've read that much at all. And the one I'm currently reading but haven't finished yet, which I hope to finish by the weekend, I'd say, is Mortal Fear by Greg Isles. Um, this was just like a random pick from the library. It seemed kind of good. It's really weird because it was written in 1997 and everyone's like, I don't understand what the internet is. I don't get it. And they're like talking about AOL and like comparing stuff to that. And I was just like, it's so weird reading this, like however many years after it was written. It was about these women within an online community getting murdered and they're like trying to find the murderer I guess so I didn't write it I like writing lists and I did not write out a September TBR list I kinda just looked at this is all my TBR bookshelf goodness here you can see that I took a couple um, so I was just like which ones do I really want to read because I don't think I read any that was on my August TBR, but I read a lot, so I feel okay with it. So, 
All right, the first one I want to read, it's a short story within like a compilation. That's the right word. I'm trying to use big words. I don't think it's working. Um, it's from the Bachman books, and it's four early novels by Stephen King under the Richard Bachman. Um, and the one I want to read is The Long Walk. It's where these people, I think they're 18, and then they just start like walking. And they all just keep walking until they like get shot or kill each other or drop dead until there's one person left. So I really want to read that one because it sounds nuts. And I want to read the other ones too, I just have no idea what they're about. So that's my first one. Um, I want to read Stephen King Desperation. It's about a little town off of a highway. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Train Spotting by Irvine Walsh. Don't even know what this one is about. I still haven't read the back. I need to learn more for these videos. So, Train Spotting. It gets creepy. I've had this in a couple of my videos. <laughs> it's just Ah, uh, I guess they have kind of their own language in this book too, so that might take a little bit to get into. I want to read The Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway because it'll actually take me like two hours maybe to read this. And I want to read Writing Lessons by Sarah Bruin because it's just different from the murder and dystopians and stuff I've been reading and it would have to do with real life and horses instead of people killing each other and yes and I was also thinking I have I think the Millennium Trilogy um, yep okay so I have the Millennium Trilogy I can almost guarantee I wouldn't read these all in September, but I kind of want to start the trilogy because I've had these books for years and I still haven't even started it. So if I could do that this month, I'd be doing pretty good, I think. And this is all my TBR, so I might even change my mind. I have books over there and I have books over here, so this is my tentative TBR for September. I can definitely get through these, but God only knows if I'll get distracted by flea markets and borrowing books from the library like I did this month. So that was my August wrap-up and my September TBR. The reason why I didn't have copies of the books from this month, I borrowed a lot of them from people in the library, so I gave them back and I don't have copies. So, and I highly did all fine pictures to put over here. Um, Yes, so thank you guys for watching, comment, subscribe, and I will hopefully see you guys next Tuesday. Bye!